What's up guys, welcome back to The Educated Barfly. Today we're doing a special episode for you, 10 Easy Summer Cocktails. It is party season and it is the summertime. And if you are a cocktail enthusiast like me, you are probably the one that everyone goes to to create the cocktails for your parties. So I thought I'd make it easier for you guys this year and give you guys 10 easy, very refreshing, crowd-pleasing cocktails to make for your friends and then you can be the hero of all your parties. First one up, Modern Cosmo. The Modern Cosmo was created by Tony Cicchini at Odeon in 1988, which is a bar in New York City, and it was made globally famous by its inclusion in the show Sex and the City on HBO. Uh, that made this cocktail a household name. Um, it also was one of the first craft cocktails to use Absolute Citron, which was a new product at the time that it came out. All right, let's get into the drink. First thing we're gonna do is one ounce of lime juice, one ounce of cranberry juice, the original used ocean spray. I'm using Shishi organic cranberry juice, but you can do what you like. One ounce of Cointreau. And then we're gonna do two ounces of Absolute Citron. I'm just gonna add some ice to our tin. I always like to give it a little double strain. And then I do, I just do like a little lemon spritz, and there you have it, the Modern Cosmo. Next one up is an Ivy Gimlet. Uh, this is a light, refreshing cocktail playing with daiquiri specs, just subbing out some vodka and putting in a small handful of mint. First we'll do is add the mint, then we'll do uh, one ounce of fresh lime juice, three quarters of an ounce of simple syrup, and two ounces of vodka. Then we're gonna take a muddler and we're just gonna give the mint a light press. You don't want to press it too hard because you don't wanna make it too vegetal. We'll just give it a nice light press to release those oils into the cocktail. And then all you gotta do is add your ice. And we'll just take a little mint leaf. Give it a nice little slap to release those oils and just the Ivy Gimlet. For our third cocktail, we're moving into the gin category. We're gonna be doing a Floridora. This one's pretty simple. Uh, all you gotta do is half an ounce of simple syrup, four fresh raspberries. If you have raspberry syrup and you wanna just sub out for raspberry syrup, just do three quarters of an ounce of raspberry syrup. Three quarters of an ounce of lime juice, two ounces of gin, we're just gonna give this like a light little tamp to break up those raspberries. And we're doing a whip shake on this cocktail, so what that means is we've got crushed ice, and we're just gonna add a little bit of crushed ice to our tin to just start the dilution and to start the chill. And we're just gonna give it like a light whip shake. Now, if you would like to, you can strain out the little bits of raspberry. Some people don't like those seeds. Today, we're just gonna be doing a shake and dump, keeping it really nice and simple. We're just gonna add that into our glass with crushed ice or pebble ice is what we're using today. I like to press it to make it go all the way down to the bottom. A nice little snow cap on top. And then we're just gonna garnish with a little lime raspberry flag. And there you have it, my friends, the Floridora. For our next cocktail, we're gonna be doing a fresh berry adaptation of Dick Bradsell's very popular Bramble. First thing we're gonna do is take three blackberries, put it in the bottom of a glass, and just give them a light muddle. It's like a light little press. And then setting that glass aside, we're gonna do three quarters of an ounce of lemon juice, three quarters of an ounce of simple syrup, a full two ounces of gin. And then as we do for our, um, our crushed ice cocktails, we're just gonna add a little bit of ice in here, a little skosh and we're gonna give it a nice whip shake. Add it in on top of the, on the, top of the blackberries. Top up with crushed ice. And just garnish with a blackberry on top. And there you have it, my friends, the fresh berry bramble. Cocktail number five moves us into the agave spirits category with the highly satisfying Tijuana Rocket. First thing we're gonna do is one thick 
uh, wheel of jalapeno, and one square of red bell pepper, three quarters of an ounce of lime juice, three quarters of an ounce of pomegranate molasses, which is sometimes an ingredient in grenadine, but it's actually a highly concentrated form of pomegranate, and then two ounces of reposado tequila. We're gonna give these ingredients a light muddle, add our ice and our cocktail, give it a nice shake. And there you have it, my friends, the Tijuana Rocket. For cocktail number six, we're just doing a really refreshing take on a sour with a mezcal. So first thing we're gonna do is three quarters of an ounce of lime juice, three quarters of an ounce of honey syrup, and just two ounces of mezcal. You wanna try and use some mezcal that's like light and citrusy, uh, as well as smoky. Then we're just gonna add our ice, and give it a nice shake. and give it a nice little double strain. And then we're just gonna finish it off with a little dusting of cayenne pepper, the saladito. Cocktail number seven brings us into the rum category. We are gonna be making a cocktail called Ajax Punch. I love this type of cocktail because it's built right in the glass. Uh, so the first thing we're gonna do is just a couple of watermelon and cucumber slices, just a small handful. All right, we're gonna add three quarters of an ounce of lime juice and a quarter ounce of simple syrup. And then we're gonna give it a little muddle until everything is juiced down in there. And I like to give it just like a little stir as well. Just make sure everything's combined. And we're gonna add one and a half ounces of white rum. Add our ice cubes. And then we're just gonna top it off with sparkling wine or Prosecco. Another light little stir. And then we're just gonna garnish with a little basil and watermelon wheel, or like watermelon half wedge. And there you have it, my friends, the Ajax Punch. All right, next cocktail up is a super easy one, dark and stormy. This one you can build in the glass, just three quarters of an ounce of lime juice. And I like to build this a really specific way. And then I add my ice. Top it up with ginger beer, and then two ounces of Gosling's Black Seal Rum. And I just like to layer that on top. Now when you go to drink this, you're gonna have to mix it, but for presentation, this is beautiful. And there you have it, the Dark and Stormy. Next up, we got a Mamie Taylor. This cocktail is just one that you can throw, again, you can just throw it together. First thing we're gonna do is three quarters of an ounce of lime juice, and we're doing two ounces of blended scotch, we're gonna add our ice. Try not to spill too much. And then just chop it up with ginger beer. And then we're just gonna garnish it with a lime wheel, the Mamie Taylor. All right, and for the last cocktail, we're gonna be making a Pim's number one cup. First thing we're gonna do is just a little handful of mint in the bottom of the glass. And then we're gonna add our citrus. And then we're gonna add cucumber slices on top. Basically what you want to do is you want to separate um, the muddler from the mint just so that you don't shred it. And just give it like a nice press. Next thing we're going to do is just add two ounces of Pim's number one. We're just going to add our ice. And then top it off with ginger beer. I made this little mint sprig. We're just going to garnish with like a little Mint sprig. The Pim's number one. There you have it, my friends. 10 easy summer cocktails for your parties. Uh, if you like our channel, please hit like and subscribe and definitely check us out on Patreon. We got a lot of great content dropping on Patreon these days. So check us out at patreon.com slash the educated I will see you guys next time.